Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick and easy effect that will make a parked car look like it's speeding down a road at 100 miles an hour. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. This effect works best if you choose a photo of an open road shot from a standing vantage point and that could be cropped so the vanishing point is approximately in the center of your document. Because we're going to ultimately angle the photo, start with a file size large enough so we won't lose any edges once we angle it. Choose a photo of a car shot from the same vantage point. We need to cut it out from its background and copy it into our street scene. In order to do this, we need to make a selection of the car. There are many ways to do this, so choose the one that's easiest and most effective for you. For this example, I'll use the pen tool. First, I'll click on the Zoom tool to magnify into the image. Then I'll call up my Pen tool and create a path that conforms to the car's shape. Once the path is closed, I'll right-click and choose Make Selection. We'll feather it by 0.5 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. To get our car into the street scene, press Ctrl or Command plus A to select the entire image and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Click on the tab of the street scene and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste the car into it. To reduce its size, press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag the corner in. This will reduce its size from its axis point. To reposition it, click inside the transform and move it. To accept it, press Enter or Return. Let's paint in a shadow under the car. Click on the street layer to make it active and call up your brush tool. Change the blend mode to linear burn and bring down the opacity to about 25 to 30 percent. To make your brush size smaller, press the left bracket key. Press Shift and drag your cursor straight across under the grill a couple of times. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. We'll blur it by 50, the Blur Method Zoom, and the Quality Best. Drag the crosshairs to a position approximating the vanishing point of your image. Click on your car layer to make it active, and press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Change the Blend Amount to 25 and keep Zoom and Best. Click on the Layer Mask icon and that'll make a layer mask next to the active layer. I want black as my foreground color, but since white is, I'll press the letter X to invert them. You could also do this by pressing on the double curved arrow. Change the Blend Mode to Normal and make the opacity between 75 to 80 percent. Now brush over the car but not its edges. This blends the car into its environment and simulates the effect of speed. Let's angle our entire image to give it a sense of excitement. With the top layer active, press shift and click on the street layer. This makes any layer in between active. Click on the chain link and this links all the active layers together. Call up your transform tool and press Ctrl or Command Zero to see the entire transform on your screen. Notice how much larger our street scene is. We can angle or reposition our entire scene without being concerned about cutting off any of it. If you don't want your car to look like it's driving itself, you can choose a car with a driver already in it or you can always add a driver in Photoshop. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>